The NBA's play-in tournament starts tonight, and the winner of Game 1 gets a playoff spot. Will it be LeBron James and the Lakers, or Zion Williamson and the Pelicans, who find themselves here because they lost to the Lakers in the regular season finale? And later, remember the first round a year ago, Game 7? Steph dropped 50 in Sacramento and knocked out the Kings? The season ends for one of those teams tonight. It's play-in to play on on TNT. Over three nights, eight teams playing for four playoff spots, and it all starts a half hour from now. Welcome to TNT NBA Tip-Off, presented by CarMax. Here we are in Studio J in Atlanta. Ernie Johnson, Shaquille O'Neal, Kenny the Jet Smith, and Charles Barkley. Yeah. I think we got a chance to have a two great games tonight. I am pumped. I am, too. This yeah. is a, It's great to have... A, Great to have meaningful games. The playoffs about to start this weekend and yeah. see. This who, is uh, not the playoffs. This as is you the, yelled at me today. No, this is the playoffs. This no, this no, the I said games. play. I said playoffs today. And Ernie yelled at me. No. <laughs> Do these stats count? You're anywhere? so sensitive. You're so sensitive. <laughs> uh, no, it's not. It's not regular season, and it's not. Uh, okay, so they don't exist. exist. No. Gotcha. So what we gonna see tonight it ain't really happening. It, it really is <laughs> happening. And and for those of you who might need a refresher course on how this works. Yes. So and here, so that's three three example. guys right okay. here. Uh, 7-8, New Orleans and the Lakers. The winner will be the number seven seed in the playoffs. If you lose this game, you still got a chance to get in. Nine and ten later tonight. If you lose, you're out. If you win, you take on the loser of the 7-8 on Friday. And in the Eastern Conference, it gets going tomorrow. You got the uh, Sixers at home against the Heat. The winner of that game is a playoff team. The loser will face the winner of the 9-10 between Atlanta and Chicago. The loser of that 9-10 game <clears throat> will be knocked out. So now everybody understands exactly what's at stake, don't you? Yes, of course one, you do. One and done, baby. Okay. Uh, well, not exactly. Because... One and done except for one team. <laughs> See, now you're confusing things. Uh, CarMax one-on-one, -on -one, the head-to-head -head between the Lakers and the Pelicans this year. Three to one in favor of the Lakers and not a single, single-digit game in the bunch. Wow. Well, the opportunity was there for the Pelicans. Home on Sunday to close out the regular season. Win, and they're in the playoffs. Lose, and they have to make it through the play-in. Well, they lost to the Lakers and now face that same team again in New Orleans. The winner gets the number seven seed and the Nuggets in the first round. The loser will still get another chance on Friday. Allie LaForce will be on the sidelines in New Orleans. We check in with her now. Allie. It's great to be with you as always, EJ. You know, when you look at the average margin of victory in the three games that the Lakers won over the Pelicans this season, it's 25 and a half points. And the one game that the Pelicans won, they won by 20. There really hasn't been a close game yet between these two teams. And if you're the Pelicans, I don't know if you want to get into a close game come fourth quarter against this Lakers team. They're the best in the entire league when it comes down to three points or less. They have been absolutely on fire lately in their last 14 games. They won 11 of them and they're 100 22 points per game was second in the league. Most importantly, they had help. Coach Ham told us the key to their success is as simple as that. He said, listen, when we are whole, we like our chances. When LeBron and AD are both healthy, they're scary. AD was listed as questionable for tonight, but Coach said his back spasms were treated. It's not an issue at all at this point. He did have a day of rest. The team treated it, and it was helpful that they didn't have to fly because they finished their regular season here. For the Pelicans, they've struggled at home. They've lost six of their last seven games at home. CJ McCollum said, don't look too much into that. We didn't have Brad Green and Ingram. We played really great teams at home as well. He will have increased minutes today. Brandon Ingram back in the lineup for his second game since March 21st. CJ did say that the four straight wins on the road against teams that really had to win with playoff implications meant the most to him. That was a sign that this team was really maturing. It's Zion's first ever postseason game. It truly is an opportunity for this Pelicans team. And CJ also told me, he said, listen, if before the season you would have told me we are one win away from the postseason, and on top of that, we had close to 50 wins. He said, I would have taken it. So while their expectations are high and they do believe they can win this game, they also are very grateful to be here and have this chance. 
Ali LaForce accompanied by the league's loudest drum line there in uh, in New Orleans. Well, well done. We appreciate the info, uh, at least the parts of it that we could hear. Uh, so, uh, so let's. <laughs> yeah, let's talk about. No, so you got to talk with drums off. Yeah. We do too. What, what what we expect to see in this one? Because again, as I pointed out, New Orleans is sitting there on Sunday, saying we win this game at home. We're the number six seed. We can watch all this play in stuff play out. And now they're right in the middle of it. Because they didn't get it done. I'm only focusing on one thing tonight, and that's Zion Williamson. This is his 187th game. Only one time has he hit. 40 points. So my question is, can you turn it up? Can you turn it up for the city? Can you turn it up for yourself? Can you ensure I'm going to go out there and be dominant so my team wins? I know what AD can do. I know what he may do. I know what you know he's he's done. I know what LeBron has done. I'm not sure that you know Zion Williamson can do that. I'm going to be focused, and I, Chuck and Kenny, will be able to look from the first tip, from the, from the first play. Look at his eyes. Look at how he plays, and we'll see if he wants it. Because you know, listen. King, you got AD, you can send him home. This is how you make a name for yourself. Kenny has always talked about, you know, making a name for yourself. It's big lights now. So, Mr. Zion Williamson, you let us down in the playing tournament. Can you step up? Can you send the King home? Again, it's 187 games. He's only had 40 once. I'm not impressed with that. He's not a really good rebounder. But when you're touted as a great player, moments like this, you have to say, you know what? Yeah. Follow me, guys. And My right, Chuck? And sitting out there for Zion is the, is the opportunity to to go to the playoffs for the first time well, in his career. I, I, but I, Zion, I think it's really about, to me, it's about McCallum. McCollum. He's been on fire. Because he, but he, cause he's the only vet in the room who's been through anything. The, the Pelicans have been embarrassing. I mean, not – hey, you think about this, Ernie. We had them in a championship game of that play-in tournament. Or the sem yeah, the semifinals yeah, of, the, you, of the West. You, you lose yeah. by 100. I watched the game Sunday. I'm like, well, let me see. Do they really – you got to win that game at home so you're not in the play-in. And it wasn't even close. And LeBron, who's 52 years old, just dominated them. And I'm like – Man, because Ernie, you, I told you we, when we were talking today, you asked us last week. Why isn't anybody talking about the Pelicans? That's why. You can't trust them. I'm going to be shocked if they don't play well tonight. Like I say, I always told myself when we played against a really good team, I told my team, I said, guys, we don't have to win. We can't get blown out. We want them to know if we play them down the line, it's going to be a dogfight. The Lakers got zero respect for the Pelicans. If you beat a team by 25 points twice in a season, in big games too, quote-unquote big games, but I got to tell you something. I think the Pelicans are going to rise After up. After all of that. I think – I'm going to say this. Why? Because uh, like, nothing you said prior to that. They ain't got to win. Uh, they just can't the, get yeah, because, because you say that the Pelicans because are going to win? as a basketball player, you got to have some type of pride. And, you, like, man – you got to get somebody's got to galvanize troops says you know what what we've done the last two times in big games against this team has been embarrassing and you don't think that's Zion well I think Zion fifth year yeah well we got to quit quit saying he's got to prove who he is we got to Today. stop projecting but McCollum and Ingram they're the guys who've been you know they're the before this season, they were the two best players on the team. I'll tell you this. McCollum, seven straight games of 25, by the way, and Brandon Ingram just came back after missing yes, 12 games. But, to play but I'm Sunday. saying, those, to me, those are the two guys who got to lead the way. Yeah, but we talk about pride. We talk about heart. We talk about determination. And, Shaq, you talk about the grit. But there's a guy named LeBron James and AD, and those guys have the same thought process. Yeah, but I know what so they're going to do. So when you're playing against the same – it's not like they're playing Kenny, against another team. Kenny, that I'm not. Have that. Kenny, I'm not saying. I know saying, what they're going to do. Kenny, I'm not saying the Pelicans got to win the game. The way the Lakers are beat them is what's embarrassing to let no. me know something but, going you know, on. The Pelicans got to win the game. They got nothing to do with matchups. Well, who matches up well with LeBron James or AD on that team? Well, who matches up? Who matches up with those other two guys? Well, LeBron can match up with Zion. So, so, well, he so, shouldn't okay. be able to. Let me tell you something. You're right. Thank if you. Eight, sure. No, let me no tell you something. No sure. I, I don't give. I don't give a damn what you say, Kenny. Yeah. If I'm, to, if I was the number one pick in the draft, right? And I was 25. Is he 25 yet? 
Maybe. Maybe. Make your point. Hey, I'll check that out. If they send a 40 year old dude out there toward me, he's going to be there. I don't care. Yeah, I don't care. Ain't no way if they I they sent this 40 year old dude no, back in the time machine. No, let me tell you something. That's what I'm looking for, Chuck. If I'm supposed to. That attitude right there. He'll be 24 in July. I'm just Ernie. If I'm supposed to be the next guy, like Shaq just said. Thank you. He was the number one pick and draft. That's what I'm looking for. He was supposed to be the next guy. They better not sit. No, only 23. I don't. I don't. What well, do he's been a no? He he can't play like he's been playing against the Lakers. If you're gonna be the guy at 23, he's been in the league long enough in big moments. And like I say, they don't have to win, Kenny. They have been humiliated. No, they gotta win. They gotta win. Uh, and I think they will win tonight. Zion so, gotta step it up. The other day, Lakers led by as many as 32, never trailed in that game. Points in the paint in the first half. 50 to 12. There's no one on fa- that team in favor of the Lakers. Davis, and there's no one who, yeah. they, and they don't have many shot blockers, you know, because Ingram and and um, Zion are great offensive players. They create a lot of mismatches. You're not a great offensive player if you're down but 32. On a, but on a, on a defensive end, LeBron James can still get downhill. AD can still post up, and then if you and if they switch everything, they still have an inferior interior. So. <laughs> to me, and the Pelicans got a better bench. It's matchup. It's just the, the Lakers got a better. I mean, excuse me. The Pelicans got a better bench. Uh, come on, man. We got to stop making excuses. It's time for these boys to rise up tonight, and they're going to do it. Okay. Lakers have won five better. in a row on the road. The better. Pelicans have lost five in a row at home going into this, and they've been a much better team on the road than they have at home. The Pelicans. Well, they should play in the road jersey. <laughs> Metro oh, Boomin at the Pelicans game. You don't know what that meant, man, are you? <clears throat> there you go. It was something. It was something like. It was something like that. There's a rap beef going on. Oh, right. oh yeah, yeah, that. Oh. Yeah. Stay out of it, Ernie. Stay of out of it. Stay out of it, Ernie. That's silly me. Don't know why that didn't register right off the bat. Stay on your side, Ernie. We'll, we'll take a look at the <laughs> Warriors and Kings when we come back.